Hello and welcome back to another video, today we will be going over 15 facts about ancient Rome. But before we start make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. And without further ado let's jump right into it. Number 1. Founding Myth Rome's origin is steeped in legend. According to the myth, the city was founded in 753 BCE by twin brothers Romulus and Remus, who were abandoned at birth and raised by a she-wolf. As adults, they decided to build a city, but a dispute over its location led Romulus to kill Remus. Romulus became the first king of Rome, giving the city its name. This myth symbolizes Rome's themes of fraternal conflict and divine destiny, deeply embedded in its culture. Number 2. The Roman Republic. Before Rome became an empire, it was a republic from around 509 BCE to 27 BCE. The Roman Republic was characterized by a complex system of government with elected officials, including consuls who served as the highest leaders, and a senate that advised them. This system included checks and balances, such as the power of the people's assemblies and the veto power of tribunes which prevented any single individual from gaining too much power. The Republican model heavily influenced the development of modern democracies, including the United States. Number 3. Vast Road Network The Romans built an impressive network of roads that connected their vast empire. These roads, totaling over 250,000 miles, were vital for the movement of Roman legions facilitating rapid military response to threats anywhere within the empire. The roads also boosted trade and communication, unifying distant provinces. The phrase all roads lead to Rome reflects the centrality of the city and the connectivity provided by this vast network. Roman roads were so well constructed that some are still in use today. Number 4. Aqueducts Roman engineers designed and built aqueducts to supply fresh water to cities and towns across the empire. These aqueducts were marvels of engineering, often spanning miles and using gravity to move water from distant sources to urban centers. The water supplied by aqueducts was used for drinking, public baths, fountains, and even private homes. Some aqueducts, like the Aqua Claudia, were monumental in scale, and their remains can still be seen today. The aqueducts were crucial for public health and the daily life of Roman citizens. Number 5. The Colosseum. The Colosseum, also known as the Flavian Amphitheater, is one of Rome's most iconic structures. Completed in 80 CE, it could hold up to 50,000 spectators. The Colosseum was the site of gladiatorial games, where warriors fought each other or wild animals, often to the death, for public entertainment. The arena also hosted mock sea battles, public executions, and dramas. The building itself is an engineering masterpiece, with a complex system of vaults and passageways beneath the arena floor. It remains a symbol of Rome's architectural and cultural legacy. Number 6. Latin Language Latin was the official language of Rome and became the basis for the Romance languages, including Italian, French, Spanish, Portuguese, in Romanian. Latin also influenced English and many other languages. It was the language of literature, law, and administration throughout the Roman Empire. Even after the fall of Rome, Latin remained the language of the Catholic Church and was used in scholarly and scientific works for centuries. Latin's impact is still felt today in legal, medical, and scientific terminology. Number 7. Pax Romana. The Pax Romana, or Roman peace, was a period of relative peace and stability across the Roman Empire, lasting from 27 BCE to 180 CE. It began with the reign of Emperor Augustus, who established a stable government and reformed the military. This era allowed for economic prosperity, cultural achievements, and the spread of Roman law and customs throughout the empire. The Pax Romana facilitated trade, the movement of people and goods, and the exchange of ideas, helping to unify the vast and diverse territories under Roman rule. Number 8. Roman Law Roman law was a cornerstone of the empire's governance and has had a lasting influence on legal systems worldwide. The Twelve Tables, 
created around 450 BCE, were the first set of written laws in Rome, providing a foundation for Roman legal principles. Later, the Justinian Code, compiled in the 6th century CE, organized and preserved Roman law for future generations. Concepts such as innocent until proven guilty, the right to a fair trial, and equality before the law are rooted in Roman legal tradition and have been adopted by many modern legal systems. Number 9. Religious Tolerance The Roman Empire was initially polytheistic, worshipping a pantheon of gods and goddesses. However, it was relatively tolerant of other religions, especially those of conquered peoples, as long as they didn't threaten the state's stability. This religious tolerance facilitated the empire's expansion by allowing diverse cultures to coexist under Roman rule. However, there were exceptions, such as the persecution of Christians before their religion was officially accepted. Eventually, Christianity became the empire's dominant religion under Emperor Constantine in the 4th century CE. Number 10. Concrete Construction Romans developed a type of concrete that was revolutionary for its time. Made from a mixture of volcanic ash, lime, and seawater, Roman concrete was incredibly durable and strong, even in marine environments. This innovation allowed the Romans to build massive structures like the Pantheon, with its large, unreinforced concrete dome, and the extensive network of aqueducts that supplied water to cities. Roman concrete was a key factor in the longevity of many ancient Roman buildings, some of which still stand today. Number 11. Roman Baths Public baths, or thermi, were an integral part of Roman social and cultural life. These baths were more than just places to bathe, they were centers of social activity, where people of all classes could relax, exercise, and socialize. The baths were equipped with various rooms for different temperatures, including hot baths, caldarium, warm baths, tepidarium, and cold baths, frigidarium. Some baths even included libraries, gardens, and gymnasiums. The construction of these large public baths showcased Roman engineering skills, particularly in heating and plumbing systems. Number 12. Gladiators. Gladiators were fighters who entertained the public in violent confrontations with other gladiators, wild animals, or condemned criminals in arenas like the Colosseum. While most gladiators were slaves or prisoners of war, some were volunteers seeking fame or fortune. Gladiators underwent rigorous training in special schools, ludi, and were often idolized by the public, despite their brutal lives. Though many died in the arena, successful gladiators could achieve fame, wealth, and even freedom. The gladiatorial games reflected Roman society's values of bravery, strength, and public spectacle. Number 13. Imperial Expansion At its peak, the Roman Empire controlled vast territories across Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. This expansion was achieved through a combination of military conquest, diplomacy, and alliances. Roman roads, laws, and culture spread across these territories, leading to a process of Romanization where local customs were integrated with Roman ones. This expansion also brought economic wealth to Rome through the acquisition of resources, slaves, and taxes from conquered lands. The empire's borders stretched from Britain to the Persian Gulf and from the Rhine River to the Sahara Desert, making it one of the largest empires in history. Number 14. The Fall of Rome. The Western Roman Empire officially fell in 476 CE when the last emperor, Romulus Augustulus, was deposed by the Germanic chief Denodoacer. This event marked the end of ancient Rome's political dominance in the West, though the Eastern Roman Empire, known as the Byzantine Empire, continued for nearly another thousand years. The fall of Rome was the result of various factors, including economic decline, military defeats, internal corruption, and invasions by barbarian tribes. The fall of Rome is often seen as the beginning of the Middle Ages in Europe. Number 15. Roman Influence on Modern Society The legacy of Rome is profound and far-reaching, influencing many aspects of modern life. Roman contributions to government and law, such as the concepts of a republic and legal rights, have shaped the political systems of many modern nations. 
Roman architecture, with its use of arches, vaults, and concrete, has inspired countless buildings around the world. The Latin language has influenced modern languages, particularly the Romance languages. Additionally, Roman engineering, urban planning, and military strategies continue to be studied and admired for their ingenuity and effectiveness. And that's it for today. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. See you next time.